Shay's Instagram account um, is deactivated after claims that it was hacked. She took to her Twitter page yesterday to say her Instagram page has been compromised and that her privacy is being violated, encouraging her followers to ignore all DMs from her Instagram account and to not share any personal information. But now it appears that the drama might have taken another turn as it's we can't see the account basically in simple terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, joining us virtually to share his opinion on this um, matter is Bami Dele Lekong, a legal practitioner and an influencer. Hi, Lekong. Hello, Elsie. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm actually great. Um, it's a great day to be here, you know, when news are flying around. So, um, yes, it's a great day to be here. Okay, so um, I'm sure you've seen the story and you are kind of the celebrity friend. So <laughs> what, what do you think? Do you agree that this was hacked or you think something fishy is happening? So, I mean, we've, we've been here, we've seen people post for nudes, you know, see people owning with their chest and say, okay, this is my nude and I think I want to own it to my chest. But um, whatever is flying around, I, don't, I wouldn't call that nude, you know, so I don't see why anyone should be denying that they were hacked or not. But also, looking at it from a second um, perspective, it seemed as though she posted those pictures, obviously, you know, but I think someone took it and then decided to help her distribute it more. You know, there's always, there will always be a receiver, and there will not be someone who now decides to spread the entire, you know, um, news all around. Because if you check from the communication, um, you know, trail, someone actually sent that picture from her DMs because she said she didn't approve of those pictures should be, um, to be posted. So she agreed that she took those pictures, but whoever is leaking them now is what we don't know. So I don't buy the idea of her account being hacked and all of all this stuff, you know. If you're going to drop an EP or, like, you want to drop an album or a song or whatever it is, you know, just do it and post your news with your chest to accept it, but don't give us the, oh, you got hacked and all of all this stuff. It's, I mean, it's 2020. People aren't really buying some certain kind of ideas again or certain kind of excuses again. So that's just what I think about that. Mm. Wow, Z. Hmm. Yeah. So you think that yeah. this is a PR stunt? It feels like it. I mean, it feels like a PR stunt. But I mean, if it's not a PR stunt, that would that would. I don't think anyone wants to post like a picture that does that's never showing your full nude and claim that to be nude. If I wanted to hack your account, I think I would post something very, 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 very risky. You know, mm -hmm. the kind of video that got Kim Kardashian to where she is right now. That is the kind of content I want to post. You know, but not you staying on your bed and you know just being in your natural habitat. I wouldn't call that news, and I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't that, use that as a point to ask someone's account. So that's that's my own um, that's my opinion on that. And isn't that the reason why we should believe her that okay, it's probably um, someone else doing this because if she wanted to post a nude, like you said, she would do it with her chest. <laughs> How do you guys say, right? Mm -hmm. She do it with the chest and she would just put it out there and she would own it or even deny it with a proper nude because that would make more headlines. <laughs> deny with a proper nude. <laughs> yeah, she would deny a proper nude than <laughs> trying to deny this. So I believe somebody is actually trying to act or somebody at the Instagram mm. because she's saying that um, she didn't deny the picture that she took the mm. picture. Mom. She's just saying it's not oh, from a recent conversation. Yeah. So. I think my, my, the bigger question now is moving forward. Uh, I don't know what your thoughts are on that, Lekon. Is Can she get this account back if it's been deactivated? Because I know like for someone like Shay, Shay and the number of following that she's had, I don't think it's, she doesn't have a strong following. Like we say, she'll bounce back like almost immediately mm -hmm. and, and things like that. So what do you think You know, this looks like for her going forward? So um, I, would speak, I would speak from the influencer point of view. So people have had like, their account deactivated, you know, deleted and all this stuff. Her account is probably deactivated because she's flagging the Instagram, you know, community guidelines, which is obviously going against, you know, you posting new pictures of yourself. Mm -hmm. So Instagram wouldn't know if you were, if you were hacked or, you know, or you posted it intentionally. All they know is that your nudes or like your naked pictures are actually going around the internet. So our account has been deactivated. Now, if she's lucky enough to get the account back, that would be great, you know, how people get the account back after being um, deactivated. But if not, having to start from the beginning, she, she from the first instance is not your, um, she's not one that you, know, you ordinarily want to follow if you're not a core fan or a, or a huge consumer of her content or her music. So it might take a while, you know, for her to bounce back. But I mean, I'm wishing her all the best. I mean, I might probably just follow her. Who knows what we might be seeing next. So um, from an influencer <laughs> point of view, what, is, what are the procedures to get your account back in case she doesn't know this and she was actually asked? What's she supposed to do to get that account back? Um, so the very first thing for her to do is to you know, send, um, send a mail to support, you know, to, um, to like Instagram support team. You know, um, send them pictures, means of identification, that's your international passport or like a means of them identifying you. Um, report the incidents, you know, let them know it was an, it was, it was an, it was an accident, you know, that your nudes got leaked. And... Um, 
yeah, you know, so pretty much once you do that, you know, if they find your your um your complaint to be viable, then they will tell you, okay, do this particular thing, send a signature and all of all those stuff. Then if you're lucky enough, you get your account back. If not, uh, people have been having their accounts lost on Twitter for like a very long time from now. So she's glad it's not Twitter, but to be Twitter, after that, just open a new account and move on from there because they don't really, they don't take things like that easily. Right. Okay, thank you for your time. I'm hoping that with her verification, um, verified handle and her number following, Instagram should definitely listen to her. Thank you for doing tea with oh, us this you. afternoon. Hopefully. Thank you so much. I mean, and I also honestly truly wish, you know, most of my industry colleagues too would support her because most of them actually would, because I think Techno posted something recently saying, if you know you want to, um, you know, if you know you want to trend, post your news with your full chest and stop showing us chest and bomb. Wow. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's... Mm. Techno, is <laughs> Techno is savage. <laughs> that's savage. But thank you so very much for having me. I honestly appreciate it. All right. Bye. Thank you.